everyone, it's Alexis here, your favorite florist. So today's video, I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes Valentine's Day week at a busy flower shop so you can see what it's like to work a busy holiday. So for those of you who didn't know, Valentine's week and Mother's Day are the busiest days as a florist. Valentine's this year was on a Tuesday, so we wanted to make sure that we were preparing at least a week before the holiday. So on Wednesday, six days before Valentine's Day, we got all of our hard goods, like our vases, and we also got our roses. And believe it or not, guys, this is not all the flowers. This is just roses that we got in this trip. We got our roses early because we wanted them to hydrate a couple days before the holiday just to make sure that they'd be nice and beautiful. We didn't fully process all the roses right away. We just chopped them and put them into clean buckets. And the rest of the roses, we just kind of stacked into the buckets and put them in our coolers so that way they would be preserved. I did end up fully processing a couple of roses because I wanted to check on the quality of the rose and make sure that they'd be good for Valentine's week. We also went ahead and pre-greened some of the vases so that way we could just grab and go Valentine's week and we wouldn't have to worry about like slowing down to green up a vase. So on Thursday, I learned that we had two daddy-daughter dances, two proms, and Valentine's week to prepare for. Not to mention, there was also like Super Bowl Sunday. So there was like a ton of stuff going on this weekend and it was really busy at the store. So to prepare for such a busy week, I decided to go ahead and start making some of the corsage bases for the daddy-daughter dance. I just made a bunch of pink and white bows that I then glued to corsage bases. This is just going to help the production go a lot quicker. So the schools in my area, whenever there is a prom or a homecoming dance, they like to do mini handheld arrangements instead of corsages. So today I'm just making a bunch of mini handheld arrangements for orders so that way when it comes time for them to pick up, they can just grab and go. I will say one good thing about the kids picking handheld arrangements these days over corsages is that I can make the handheld arrangements days in advance, store them in my cooler, and I don't have to worry about making them last minute. Alright guys, so it's Friday, February 10th, four days before Valentine's Day. It's time to get our game face on. So right now what I'm doing here is I am just preparing and mass producing a bunch of half dozen arrangements. So I'm doing this because A, I know last year we got at least six orders of half dozen arrangements and I know that because I checked the orders from last year. So I'm just preparing six half dozen arrangements to be sold because I'm anticipating that at least six people will buy half dozen arrangements again this year. These next couple of days at the flower shop are all about mass production. So what I'm doing here is we're just going to be making a bunch of arrangements based on the previous year's numbers. As a retail flower shop, we do a lot of funeral flower work as well. So we actually did have a funeral on Saturday, so here is me just making the head basket arrangements for the funeral. So they actually wanted all red roses, which I thought was kind of odd because it's Valentine's Day week, but yeah. Anyway, but here is the casket out of all red roses. It's Saturday, guys, and I am quite literally dead inside. Um, I'm really tired. I've worked six days straight and I made so many orders these last couple of days, but we got to keep chugging along because V-Day is only once a year. So here I am making just mixed arrangements here. I'm making large mixed arrangements that we are going to sell for $125 each. So prior to this day, I actually sat down and came up with formulas for all of these arrangements that you see here. So I came up with like the recipe to tell me exactly how many flowers I need in order to profit and make this a $125 flower arrangement. I recommend using apps like Every Stem so that way you can help track and make recipes for your flower arrangements to make sure that you're actually profiting off your designs. When I'm finished with each arrangement, I actually change out and dump the dirty water and give each arrangement fresh drinking water. Saturday was a big production day. And I was lucky to say, but I actually had a lot of people on staff that day. So it was my job to make like the large, big arrangements, like the ones that are going to sell for a higher value. 
and I gave the other co-workers the easy tasks like the dozen roses and the small vase arrangements. By Saturday, we already had 200 orders for Valentine's Day, and I was expecting at least 500. So making a bunch of arrangements in advance and having these things ready to grab and tag is just going to make our lives that much easier. It was such a busy production week. And to top it off, we ended up getting more funerals for Monday. So here I am just prepping the urn arrangements, just making it so that way when it comes time to actually design them on Sunday, we can just pull them and add the flowers to them. I'm all about making the grab and go process move much smoother. And here are all of our done arrangements. So this is our mixed bouquets. And yes, we did end up leaving them out overnight just because we ran out of cooler space, but we did turn the air conditioner on and made it really cold in the store so that way we could preserve the flowers. So Sunday, two days before Valentine's Day, I decided to start printing out the Monday-Tuesday orders and just organizing them and categorizing them based off of the type of arrangement that they are. So for example, I had a pile of dozen rose arrangements and then another pile, I had a pile of like $85 mixed arrangements. So what I would do then is I'm just gonna take that over and tag all of the arrangements. So we ended up using the Rita's across the street from us because they were closed and the owner let us use their space to put our done arrangements in because we just completely ran out of space at the flower shop. So what I'm doing right here is I am marking all of these arrangements out for delivery. So I'm just taking the card message and delivery tag information and I'm just attaching it to all of these dozen rows arrangements. So these guys are sold and are going to be out for Monday and Tuesday delivery. Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Oh my gosh. In my head, I'm actually really moving that fast because when I tell you guys, I am scared. I'm kidding, guys. We were actually in great shape by Monday. So what I mean by great shape is that we had well prepared the flower shop Saturday and Sunday with lots of arrangements. So now on Monday and Tuesday, all I'm really doing here is just making like these special arrangements for like the special customers that want like specific things. But other than that, I spent these last two days just tagging arrangements and sending them out the door for delivery. This is also a good chance for me to check any of the arrangements that we've done over the weekend and just give them like a nice little freshening up, making sure that all of the flowers are alive, changing out any of that dirty water, and just making sure that they are overall good to go. The day has finally come. It's Valentine's Day. Beautiful weather, which means lots of walk-ins. I'm hyped because my coworker got me these cute little antlers for Valentine's Day. And here's the store all done up and ready with arrangements. So to decorate, we had some music blasting outside and we also put some bouquets out for sale. My boss is really trying to push succulents, so we made up a succulent table. We organized the tables to have deliveries on top and pick up arrangements on the bottom. We ended up doing a total of 563 flower arrangements this Valentine's Day season, and almost all of the orders averaged above $100. Overall, I would consider this to be a successful Valentine's Day holiday. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at flowersbyalexis, and I will see you all soon with another video. Bye!